Hello everyone, Chief here with some breaking Halo 5 news straight from San Diego Comic-Con. Today, during the Halo Nightfall panel, 343 Industries revealed that Jameson Locke, or Agent Locke, the star of Halo Nightfall, will also be playable in Halo 5 Guardians. So it appears 343's second Halo game is following a well-known pattern. Back in 2004, Halo 2 introduced us to the Arbiter and made him a playable character with his own campaign missions that intertwined with the Master Chief. At today's panel, it was also revealed that the Halo Nightfall digital series is set on a broken piece of the Halo ring from Halo Combat Evolved. This is the story of Agent Locke growing into a Spartan. 343's Frank O'Connor described Locke's story as a, quote, a superhero origin story that's more closely integrated to Halo 5 Guardians than Ford Unto Dawn was with Halo 4. Mike Coulter, who was recently announced as the actor to portray Agent Locke in Halo Nightfall, is also doing the motion capture and voice work for his character in Halo 5 Guardians. It appears that Mike Coulter was also asked during the panel if Agent Locke was either a friend or a foe to the Master Chief. Coulter wouldn't answer during the panel's Q&A, but Frank O'Connor explained, we'll answer that question one year from now in this very room. So it sounds like we'll find out if Agent Locke is an enemy or friend in 2015 at San Diego Comic Con. Now, as expected, the team behind Halo Nightfall has been very vague about details, but teased that the digital series would feature interactive elements of some kind, and of course announced that more will be revealed at Gamescom later this August. Now, today's Halo Nightfall panel at Comic-Con was not live-streamed, nor will tomorrow's Halo the Master Chief Collection panel. However, we've been told to wait for videos of these panels to be uploaded over the weekend. However, a short trailer for Halo Nightfall was just uploaded, and that's what you're watching in the background, along with some official new screenshots of Halo Nightfall. Now the description that was posted with the trailer reads, Halo Nightfall introduces a pivotal new character, Jameson Locke, a legendary manhunter and an agent with the Office of Naval Intelligence, ONI, Earth's most powerful and secretive military branch. When he and his team are caught in a horrific biological attack, they unravel a plot that draws them to an ancient hellish artifact where they will be forced to fight for their survival, question everything, and ultimately choose between their loyalties and their lives. Taking place between the events of Halo 4 and Halo 5 Guardians, Halo Nightfall is Locke's origin story which will lend insight and understanding into the character he becomes in Halo 5 Guardians. Now in the trailer, characters speak of an element that specifically kills humans, so a team is sent in to destroy the element deposits and find out who's mining it. Sounds like the first Halo ring still has some secrets. Now over on Halo Waypoint, they revealed some more story details, and the paragraph says, The Oni agents are forced to coordinate with Randall Aiken, a local commander with a remarkable history and deep-rooted mistrust of the Office of Naval Intelligence. So it appears with these events and this group of characters, there's still some mistrust with Oni, as expected. That's all I have for you guys today. More details will continue to be announced throughout San Diego Comic-Con, so be sure to subscribe so you won't miss out. If you want to check out the Halo Nightfall trailer, click the annotations or link down below in the description. Now share your thoughts on what you guys think of being able to play Agent Locke in Halo 5 Guardians, and what do you guys think about revisiting the first Halo ring back in Halo Nightfall. Leave me your thoughts down below in the comment section. Hope you all enjoyed the video, thumbs up are greatly appreciated, let's see how many likes we can get. My name's Chief Canuck, and I'm signing out.